what I want to show you guys is the legend command. And the legend is basically a way to add up multiple measurements. So you can see I have two different types of fit items here, a two inch cold plate removal, which I have on two different sheets. And then I also have three inch, which I have on two other sheets. Um, and so these are all linked. So for example, if I like shrink this, it's going to change in my legend. It, it looks awesome and it's really cool when it works well, but it also is finicky. So it's a little bit less intuitive than you might think. So I'd just be very careful about double checking all your answers, but I'll show you a couple ways to use it well. And then also things that can get screwed up with it too. So let me just, I'm gonna go to the same drawing. This is just a blank version. So this is something I was asked to do for an actual project. I, they did the gr middle grinding of the road. It was 40 feet wide. So I came in here and I know everyone's been using the measurement tools, but you can actually use these scale to sketch ones. They work very similarly to the measurement tools. I find this really nice for drawing certain things. So I'm going to just drag this out here. I know it needs to be 40 feet wide. So I'm going to tab over here, type in 40 and enter. So now it's 40 feet wide. And just like Kelly was showing, I can change what units and what area I'm showing on here. I can add in the length or the height and the width just to make sure that 40 feet wide it lines up. And then in this case, I have it in square feet. I actually want it in square yards. So I'm going to change that right here. You can see it reflects right there. I'm going to just draw a new one. So same exact thing. Draw right here. I'm going to tab over and hit 40 for my height. And then I'm going to also have to change this one to square yards. Okay, let me go to the next one. Okay, so this these next two are actually going to be three inch grind and inlays and actually in my example from my plan, I wanted to extend this by about 100 feet. So I'm going to come in here and attempt to snap come out about 100 feet. And then I'm going to type in 100, hit the little ash for 100, and then it goes magically to 100. So you know, I should have caveated my talk with just making sure your scale is correct, because all these measurement tools work great in assuming your scale is correct. So I would always probably before you do this, make sure your scale looks is matching your scale bar. And if you're not working in a really good set of plans, maybe even check in the stationing or something because your scale bar isn't all 100% right. But here you go, I got 100 roughly. All right, so I feel good about my scale. So I'm going to do that same exact thing as I did before. This time I'm going to go a little bit past my limits. I'm going to tab hit 40 and there you go. So this one I want to actually be a different color. I'm trying to signify that this is a different type of material and so to, to do that i'm going to just change the color on this by changing these and then i'm going to do the same exact thing and i'm going to screw this up on purpose to show you how you can mess these up 40 enter okay so i'm going to i don't know if you noticed but i changed it to a, gr a different this one has a green border and a green outline a green fill this one only has a green fill so they're not exactly the same and that's important when you're doing your templates so i'm going to Hit my little markups list and I'm going to highlight all four of these and I'm going to right click and go to legend and create a new legend. And you can see it's given me three different items. Oh, why did it give me three different items and where is the description? And the reason it gave me three different ones is because the green is different on those two. So this is something that can be easily screwed up. You also notice the units aren't right on these two. So there's a lot of room for error with these legends, but assuming everything's set up right, they work great. So I'm going to change the units on this one to square yards, and I'm going to do this little paintbrush format painter, and it'll copy the formatting so that it'll be the exact same. And okay, now change the square yards, and I'm going to go back to my page one, and there we go. Now I got, at least it has, it should be counting everything correctly. All right, so now to get the legends and labels set correctly, I'm going to click on these items and I'm going to click on my little properties bar. And in here is something called label. I'm going to type this in as two inch cold plane removal. And you can see now it added in two inch cold plane removal and a blank because that second one is a little bit different than this first one. So when anything is different at all, it like if I had this one at 10% fill opacity and the next one's at 20%, they'll show up as two different items in the legend. So just something you got to be careful about. I mean, if I type this in as a different label, it's going to screw up. If I type this in as with a space at the end. See, so look, it's screwed up. So a lot of room for mess ups by doing this. So just something to be very careful about. And then these last two, I can actually, I think I can select them at the same time and see if that works. 
three inch cold plane removal. And I don't think that actually worked. Three inch cold plane removal. Another error that I found myself making, when you click on your legend, something very important to notice in here is under the properties bar, there's this thing that says source pages in here. And normally this is set to all pages, but I can actually set this to current page as well. And if I set it to current page, it's only going to add everything up on this page. So if I copy this, go to the next page and I'll paste it. It's now current page and it's giving me the value from this one, different from this, this one. Actually, it's almost the exact same because it's the same length times 40 feet. But imagine I move this down 3594, which matches here, right there, matches right down here. And this one's 2746, which matches this page. Same exact thing if I copy this over to this page, now I'm giving me that three inch cold plate removal. So just something to, to watch out for. Make sure the source is set to what you want, current or all pages. So if I set the current to all pages, I typically like to come in and type legend all pages in here, just so I remember that it's counting all the pages and not one particular page. Okay, so that's a little primer on legends. So what I did to start create my legend, I just highlighted all the measurement tools and right clicked and went to legend. I could have also clicked on the actual items here and right click and go to legend. That's the exact same thing. I'm highlighting all the measurements or scale the sketches that I have and then just adding them to my legend. But a way that I actually prefer to do this is I think if you have a measuring tool chest set up, you can click on this little gear right here next to that and then go to legend from that. And that will automatically add everything that's in this tool set to the legend. And so that means, like for example, imagine I, add, I have a couple inlets on this page that I'm counting up. I have a couple adjusting boxes. I have some aggregate base I'm adding in here. I have some, what is this one? Plain concrete. If I create my legend, all right, let me add this. Sorry, just let me create a new legend. Actually, let me change. Right now, the description is set to this label. I'm actually going to change the description on this legend to be subject, which is a little bit, which all these things are tied to that. So if I, now this should be visual, should be pretty easy to see. It counts everything that's in that tool, tool chest. So if I decide I want to add something else from this tool set, it automatically adds it in. So I, I think having the, the legend linked to your tool chest is a better way to do it. The way I had it before, the way I, where I manually created it, if I start creating new items, they don't automatically get added in to my legend. I would have to right click on it and add in to my legend, and then it gets added in. So it's very easy to miss certain measurements. That's why I would just be very careful with this tool. It's very powerful, but it also can be your worst enemy because it may give you the wrong answer if you don't do it right. I think trying to set up a tool chest and using that to do your legend is going to be the most successful.